Hello everyone and welcome to this quick video showing you how to correctly set up your thrust levers and flap levers in Microsoft Flight Simulator for the Phoenix A320 which of course has just recently been released. We'll also have a quick look at importing a Simri flight plan as well ensuring that all this works correctly for you. So one of the first things you're going to have to do before you can obviously fly the aircraft is calibrate your thrust levers. In order to do this, we do this through the McDo interface on the config page and then the bottom left controls button. However, before we go any further, there is a setting within the controls in Microsoft Flight Simulator itself that we do need to go ahead and change. If you look at your default settings for the Thrustmaster, which I use, then you'll see that Throttle 1 and Throttle 2 are assigned to the 0 to 100% ratio, and it's the Y and X axis respectively, showing through the different detents and of course the reverse axes as well. This is the default setting and this will need changing for the Phoenix. What you're going to have to do is instead assign these to throttle one axis and throttle two axes. These are the axes that the Phoenix recognizes as opposed to the zero to 100 percent. Once you've assigned those, then it should register when calibrating in the McDo. To give this a test, once you've changed those axes over, all you'll need to do is move your thrust levers and you should see those values in the top left and right change as we're moving those. In order to then go ahead and calibrate it, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is select calibrate and then follow the instructions on the screen. So set your physical thrust levers where you'd like your max reverse to be and then select next step. Move them to where you'd like your idle reverse to be. Next step, set idle, next step, and then just work your way through climb, move them to the flex, and then set toga. After that, you can store your calibration. You can then go ahead and check that your physical hardware matches with where you've set in the simulator. Now for me here, I've actually set my, uh, my physical hardware to the idle position and as you can see it's actually showing a reverse idle position. So there's a discrepancy there. In order to go and rectify this, the null zone can be lowered. So I'm going to lower that to 0.5, set that and now just give those a slight nudge again to put it back into what should be the idle detent and now you'll see that it's telling me that that is correct so these are now all calibrated correctly as well as your thrust levers you will also have to calibrate your flaps lever here in the McDo settings so in order to do that you'll need to just move on over using this button to your flaps and the calibration is done the exact same way you need to calibrate those by following the on screen instructions so the flaps can go up next step move them to where flaps 1 would be, move your physical hardware to flaps 2, move it to flaps 3, and then finally flaps full. Once that's done, store your calibration, and then just to double check, that's all working as it should. And there's your thrust levers and flaps all calibrated correctly for use in the Phoenix A320. It's also important to realize with this aircraft that when the aircraft launches, it also launches in the background the Phoenix application. This looks like this. And here you can enter your Hoppy Zaycar code and your Simbrief user ID. If you don't fill these out, then you're not going to be able to link your Simbrief flight plan if you're using it into the aircraft itself. So make sure they are both set if you're using them. It's also very important not to close down this app. You can minimize it, but do not close it down. Closing the app down will stop the aircraft from working correctly. Once you've got your Simbrief information all set up in the app, then everything should be straightforward for loading any Simbrief flight plan you've created. Simply tap to import using the app on the EFB and that should then come straight in. And once it's in there, you can also load it in using the init page, init request, and that should then pull in your flight route into the McDo. This can sometimes take a couple of seconds while the server obviously loads it in, but there we go, we see it all coming in eventually. Things like the flight number, the cost index, the cruise flight level aren't imported. As per the real world, the 
pilot has to enter those. But if you now go to the flight plan page, you'll see that all your flight routing, excluding your standard instrument departure and your standard arrival route, are all in there as they should be. Hopefully then this video has helped those of you that may have been having trouble calibrating your thrust levers in the new Phoenix A320. If you have found this video useful, please don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, turn on that notification bell as we will be having many more tutorials in the Phoenix A320 in the coming days. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.